yeah, since we came back from Shrewsbury, uh, I thought I'd let you know what we've been up to. I came back early because we were going to go to Ashwell and then we heard reports of like four inch snow and uh, all that sort of thing. So, um, so I think it was a wise move to come back. <laughs> and then once we, once we got back the, the following weekend, we heard that our, our friends we were meeting for the meal had managed to catch COVID. So uh, <laughs> they wouldn't have been able to go anyway. So it probably would have been a wasted journey anyway going all the way down to Ashwell and it just have been one of our friends there, Brian, hopefully. But then all oh, the snow and everything, it's, I think it's a wise move we didn't go in the end. So that was a Wednesday last week. It's now moving on a week from there and it's now Friday the following week and I'm just delivering uh, some shopping for my mum and uh, sort of last pre-Christmas shopping. It's Friday the 23rd, I think it is. So the Sunday after we got back, I was taking, uh, I was going to pick my mum up and the dashboard light to indicate a tyre problem came up on, on the car. And I, I didn't, honestly, I didn't think too much of it because it's come up like spuriously before. And it's often where there's a temperature change, you know, if the tyres have warmed up, uh, or the tyres have cooled down and the temperature I think on Sunday had changed dramatically so I thought oh it's just the tyre temperature's changed and this indicator's give me a false reading so I didn't think any more of it anyway I took my mum home on Sunday and the following Tuesday we were due to go and get our hair cut and it was it was raining so we took the car and I thought I'd double check this tyre pressure indicator light see if it was a a problem. I don't know what this bus is doing here. What's going on here? Why is there no one in this lane here? Am I missing something? I'll find out in a minute. Right. So I put the type PAL pressure indicator on when we were going to the thing and of course it indicated there was a lot of pressure in the front um, near side tyre. I think it had gone down to 24 pounds per square inch and it should be 33 so it was quite a significant drop in pressure anyway stopped outside our, you know again where we parked to get our hair done and uh, and I looked at the tire and quite clearly there was a screw a small screw that had uh, embedded itself in the middle of the tire a nice shiny screw so I thought well that's got to be the reason for the puncture so um, after we'd got our hair cut, I thought, well, I better get the, uh, get the tire fixed. So I swapped the tire for a spare, put the spare on, and then took the tire to our friends at the Southport MOT Centre. Right. Let's see our friend Chris. I think we've talked about uh, the Southport MOT Centre before. And they managed to fit us in. They managed to uh, take the screw out and they repaired the tire. Uh, now, things about repairing the tyre, puncture repair for a, a car tyre, if it's in the middle of the tread normally it's okay to re repair. Where it's in a structural part of the tyre, if it's in the sidewall or anything like that, you, the tyre's gone. You know, you might as well forget it, you'd get a new tyre. Anywhere near the, the sidewall and the tyre should be replaced. So that said, it was safe to repair the tyre. So they repaired the tyre in the meantime, I was driving around on the space saver, which is not ideal because you're limited to how fast you can go. I think it limits you to 50 miles an hour, so I'm uh, trying to drive carefully. So I had to go to my sister to pick Tara up because her grooming was due. So, uh, so I drove over to his sister's on the tire, uh, on the tire saver spare, tire saver, space saver spare. And whilst I was going there, of course the same thing happened, the, the uh, tyre pal, I'd put the tyre pal sensor on the spare because I thought I'd better make sure what pressure was in the tyre pal spare and uh, it started out at about 30 which was okay. So anyway I was driving along and I got about halfway and uh, the pressure sensor said that tyre had gone down to 20, 26 
And I thought, oh no, not again, I've got a puncture in the spare as well. <laughs> so, so I stopped, I, um, I took the tyre pal sensor off, pumped up the tyre, I had managed, I'd got a compressor in the car and put some air in the tyre and uh, carried on my journey. Anyway, it, got, it went down again. I put the tyre panel sensor back on it as well. Yeah, so dropped my mum shopping off now and uh, that was most of the shopping done for Christmas. Anyway, so continuing my, <laughs> my little saga, I'd, um, I was on my way back to Alison's and I, like I said, the tyre uh, pressure uh, alarm came up on the tyre pal and uh, I thought, oh, I've got a problem with the spare as well. So, got to my sister's and I thought, what do I do now? Um, the reason I was going to my sister was to pick up Tara, because Tara was getting her groom in the following day. So I thought, I can't really risk driving all the way back from Crosby to, to Southport, two hours, uh, with a a spare that might be flat going flat without a, a replacement. I'm going to end up, you know, on the back of a breakdown truck. So thought, what do I do? Well, my brother-in-law, Patrick, he suggested uh, borrowing this, um, their car uh, and uh, going back in their car. So I thought, well, it's always insurance worries, isn't there, when you drive someone else's car, but I think my believe my insurance covers me for driving someone else's car but it's only third party so uh, there is that and it's obviously we're driving it with permission so uh, so I drove my sister's car back she's got one of these Skoda Yetis it's really quite a nice car that's another story in itself isn't it um, but yeah little mini SUV so that was quite interesting so I got back home dropped Tara off and then I went to pick up uh, my repaired tyre, the original tyre from Southport MOT Centre, and uh, they'd repaired. He was well, actually, he was just doing it as I got there, and they put it, put one of these, you know, the bungs in, and uh, we just finished it off and tested it, and it's all right. And I said to him that, that I thought I'd got a problem with the spare as well. He said, "Oh, well, you better drop drop that in as well." well I, I could if, if it wasn't in Crosby. So, uh, so anyway, um, got the got the wheel back, took the wheel all the way back to Crosby and I, I would, <clears throat> my car was parked outside my sister's uh, but when I got back to my car the tyre was, was still on 24, hadn't gone down, hadn't gone flat or anything so I thought what on earth is going on here and uh, I thought well perhaps I haven't got a puncture in the spare so uh, changed the wheel and whilst I was changing the wheel I managed to pull a muscle in my arm I saw you know how you lift the, the wheel up and I was holding the wheel in place getting the wheel nut and it somehow slipped off the uh, off the axle I went to catch it and there was an almighty well, it felt like a spring had gone in my arm it was a twang and I thought oh no and it really really hurt so I had to stop for a minute it sort of went off a little bit and I somehow managed to get the original wheel back on, get the spare, get the spare back in the boot, drove my car back home, and uh, I'll be honest, I was struggling to change gear. It hurt to sort of change gear, and uh, probably shouldn't have been driving, but I thought, what else am I going to do? And uh, somehow I managed to get home. Uh, well. I just about by the end of that uh, day, I just about had enough and took some new. Patrick had given me some of uh, that Nurofen gel, which seemed to help. And gradually got better, and I took some Nurofens before I went to bed. By the morning, it was the arm was a lot better because the following morning, <laughs> what had arrived whilst all this was going on was a, a another bike for testing. I turn that down a little bit. So we'd got another electric bike for testing uh, and review. Now that video is probably now going to go out after Christmas, so uh, it, that's an interesting video. So do watch out for that. Uh, something a little bit different, and uh, you, you'll see from that. And uh, I asked my nephew Liam, my sister's son, 
to give us a hand uh, in reviewing it, which was probably just as well because I pulled my arm and you know, getting, it out, getting the bike out of its uh, box was a bit of a struggle, as you'll see in the video. Um, so we did the review video on uh, Wednesday and uh, by the time we'd you know, put, set the bike up and we'd gone for a little ride, my arm was a lot better. It is a lot better now, so don't, don't worry about it. I'm, uh, it is getting better. I, I pulled something in my muscle up here. I think that's what I've done. And uh, someone thinks it's not 30 long here. Close behind me. Yeah, I can see you. And uh, so we did this review video, and I'd had a little bike ride, and it, I think it was basically all right. It just hurts a little bit picking up heavy things, and if there's a twist in motion. So I had quite a week, really. <laughs> so I think I'm actually looking forward to having a little break uh, over Christmas. Um, we're going to my sister's for Christmas lunch, and uh, my mum's coming to us on Boxing Day. So uh, should have a a reasonably quiet Christmas. It's absolutely teeming down here. Put the uh, heated screen on the back there. So uh, I think that's it. I think that's my news. Um, th I think the long and short of it of the the tyre pal um, thing is that I think the tyre pal uh, sensor was slightly leaking. <coughs> And what I've done is I've changed the, the rubber seals on the tyre power, power sensor and I think I've got a photo, I'll, I'll show you that. And you, it came with some spare seals. I think the fact that I was taking it on and putting it off and taking it on and off all the time and I think the seal seals had gone. Now um, one of our uh, long term viewers, Peter Titterton, hello Peter, uh, had mentioned that these tyre powers can sometimes leak. and. Uh, and I think actually when I got the tyre pal, someone, a few people had said that they, um, they, can, they can leak, but fortunately they do come with replacement seals, so uh, I changed the seals and I've put it back on the, uh, on the car and it's been, it's been fine ever since, it's not, the pressure's not moved at all. And I've been driving backwards and forwards doing various trips in the car and the tyre's been fine, so I think that's what it was. At the, um, tyre power sensor was leaking. So what a palaver, eh? So I have no idea how long this video's gone on for. But uh, I thought I'd give you an update uh, where we are. And uh, I'd just take this opportunity to uh, wish you a happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. And have a, have a good one. Have a good break. Don't drink too much. Don't eat too many chocolates. <laughs> and. Uh, We'll catch you after Christmas. So take care and we'll see you soon. Bye then.